Hello there guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Robert Sam Bean. Peace be upon you guys. Much love. Yeah, guys, thanks for joining. Welcome to another episode of Dungeon Siege 2. Guys, it is we have this is our 31st episode of Dungeon Siege 2. Probably the longest playthrough that we have done on the channel but by, by far. Like by way by way, way, way far, guys. So yeah, very stoked to be back shooting Dungeon Siege 2. Um for those of you who are new to the series, it is a role-playing game set in the world of Irana. Um, it is the the, the, the precursor, the, no, not the precursor, but we have played the first game on the channel. Um, there is sort of a link between the two, other than the obvious game mechanics and stuff like that. In terms of story, there is a vague link. They, or they both take place in the same world, apparently, Irana. And, uh, but the first one was the Kingdom of Ebb. So... In, in actual fact, I was actually discussing this at the end of the last video, that this game actually doesn't exactly uh, follow on true from story to story in terms of game to game. So, um, there's a little bit of a hint between the two, between all of them. So, yeah, it's not necessarily a continuation of the first second of the first story or the second story. So, yeah, I'd be interested to see how this one ends and see if it leads up to Dungeon Siege 3. But like I also mentioned, guys, I own Dungeon Siege 3, so we can totally shoot that as well. Um, but uh, the, the thing is, it's so nice because it's a total breath of fresh air. It is completely different to the first two games like there are some story elements that coincide with the lore of the first two games but the third game is a game on its own basically i mean it's so different that you know you'll be shocked when you see it like it's just not the same but yeah guys we're gonna go for about an hour i just wanted to explain those of you who are so new i always used to explain this when i start you'll notice in this recording that my taskbar is visible you can see my obs there my steam and the game itself as well as microsoft store and all that other stuff whatsapp for pc um yeah i can't run this game um without run launching it in windowed mode because unless that's changed now because i've seen on steam there is a launch option now to launch it for newer pcs um but i didn't choose that because i haven't calibrated my obs for that for this game so i decided to just carry on doing what i was doing run it on the old school way uh, maybe that new option actually fixes this issue i'm going to explain now but um uh the issue is is that when i launched this game um, in the beginning after installing it I would come to the menu and everything would be fine but there would be no cursor which is extremely detrimental to the game because you use your game your cursor to move your characters and do a lot in the game you cannot play this game without a cursor so I am um, I had to I did some research and found a solution you have to launch the game with the command in steam launch settings called full screen equals false so that means that the game will be forced to launch in windowed mode and you will have your cursor yeah so yeah enough said guys let's get into it let's get started um let's not try and hop it up too much you know we'll go for about an hour in this video pick up where we left off guys So yeah, so we've liberated this town of Kalrathia now. There are no more modern scum lurking around. Um, got some stuff to sell. Ooh. Ooh, this looks good. Oh. Ha! <laughs> Not as good as I thought. Plus 80%. Jeez. Oh, Melee 23. No, we're going to sell it, guys. We're going to sell it. Let's check our journal so we know what we're doing. Okay, the Mines of Cataract. So we've got to travel to the desert of Cataract. Destroy the first protective statue. Okay, we've got to destroy all these statues. And then enter the mines. So we're at Chapter 4 now, guys. Um, yeah, we clocked Chapter 2 and 3 in the last video. So, yeah, let's keep going. So what we want to do is we just want to go ahead and sell all the stuff that we don't need. But you know, I'm tempted to see what this armor actually does. No offense, guys. Um, geez, he's got a lot of health potions. Really, really has a lot of health potions. Sure. 
So how are we going to test this out? I guess we can sell a few of the health potions. Because, I mean, we've got so many. And we can just buy them again. When we want to. It is you. So let's sell half of these bad boys. <coughs> Sorry guys. Got a bit of smoker's cough going here. Okay, sweet. So now let's go ahead put this crazy looking armor in here. Okay, so it doesn't really do us any good. Okay. Go ahead and sell this crap. We don't need it, so we're not going to keep it. Okay, so it looks like Tar could use some mana potions. Let's just sell some of these health potions. Mind you, we're probably going to start needing them soon. Okay, so... Tar needs some mana. Looks like we all need some mana. So let's go and load Tar up with mana potions. Welcome to Derek's... Okay, let's uh, buy some potions. nose today God <laughs> makes me want to sneeze but then it doesn't sneeze okay okay that's it let's hit the quest guys Right, so what we want to do now is just select Tamron, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and we want to travel to the Morden City. Southern Desert of Cataract. Alright, so we just launched, we launched straight there. Uh, okay, because there's no there's no pathway from the modern city to the desert. All oh, right. Okay, so we start here. There's the city. Yeah. The desert of Cataract. So I wonder why they actually split these so that you couldn't travel on foot to them. Maybe it's that we didn't get experience or something. Keep the game difficult. Oh, uh, we forgot. We must just remember to speak to that spirit in time. Next time we're there. Can't use Lothar because he drags the camera with him. That's something I never do. Okay, it's getting a bit difficult. You must know when Lothar starts taking damage that something is going on. He 
these little guys are hard to spot. They're very camouflaged. Scheme. Oh, guys, we've come a long way in this game, eh? A long, long, long way. We'll sell that spell for some decent gold. Chaotic, yeah, I must say, with these little guys hopping around. And they attack and then they run. So they, they do that horrible thing that I hated so much in the first game. I love how they still just give us small mana potions. So there's paths going all over the place, yeah. Hey. Gosh, what happened there? Someone just got really angry. Maybe they protect their leader? Yeah, they protect their leader. Yeah, you can run. But not for long. Let's check out this hood. I think it's from the Assassin's Guild set or something. Yeah, Smokes Carl, we've had this. We've had this before. But we're not using that set, so. I wonder where all these other pathways lead. If it's part of the game. What is, what's going on? It's part of the main storyline? Oh, I don't know. They scream a little bit like people. Oh gosh, I'm selecting Lothar again. I don't want to do that. Okay. I still think uh, if this is the case that um you know the mines are actually here then i must actually go and explore these other areas and see what these green dots are and what's going on there's one more thing jeez these things are sneaky eh? you can't even see them sometimes Okay, hey, that's the mine. The cataract. Okay, awesome. But I say we explore these areas, yeah. That's what I think we should do.
Okay, so these little green guys are just, you know, prairie dogs. Okay, so there's like a downhill here. I don't think... I don't think we should go there yet. Let's check out these, this other place on the front as well. That might be a little spot. Oh shit, now we gotta go through. Okay, so we wanna go through here. And then up here. This looks like it might be just a little nook on the map. Well, I might be very wrong. I don't know. So this just leads to here. Yeah, and this also continues for a while. Let's just see. How can there be two big main paths, you know? This game doesn't do that often. It must be like a quest or something, yeah. Uh, Ends. Okay, I'm glad we came this way, guys. I'm glad we came this way. Exceptional mercenary crossbow. Wow, what a steal, what a find. What an absolute keeper. What a doozy. Yearling staff. Okay, don't know what that means. Don't know what yearling means. Okay, let's go into the mines, guys. Let's. Is that a button or just an item? Uh, it's an art. It's a mana potion. Okay, let's let's go inside the mines. Sense. Oh, this is going to be a long one, guys. What do we got on the clock? Hmm, we got time. We got all the time we need. Yeah, these dark wizards don't go down easy, by the way, guys. 
They really don't. There's a soul shard clipping out from the floor. Okay. These guys play. bad position to fight from but yeah Puzzle now that I've got to do. Damn it. Check it now. I was worried the uh, screen was going to freeze. We had some issues. But alas. There was no issue. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Okay, so we really gotta watch out for those red barrels. Damn, dude. That was hardcore. Let's fight this chubby asshole. Okay, why? That's the way forward, so let's climb up here. Let's scope this placky out. Feaster, ain't Easter, Feaster. Hasta la Feaster. Feaster. I'm not going near those um, freaking explosive barrels. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Gloves, eh? Armor 32, 12% combat magic damage. Wow, that's that's pretty good. Okay, so what was she working on? Creature damage. And she was working on cast speed. She was working on 
damage resistance. Okay. Alright. What was he working on? Strength. Physical damage resistance. Okay. Right, so let's go back to the inventory. What is going on here? Throw it away. Throw it away. Throw this shit away too. Take some more health potions. Yeah, let's just drop some health potions on him. So I can have a look at those uh, gloves. I think they might be better than mine. Oh, these are way better. Armor 32. Yeah, uh, way better, guys. Fourteen fires, just one intelligence, forty percent armor. Twenty twenty armor. a slight loss but our damage is increased with these so let's keep them we'll sell them okay okay she's got a new pair of gloves boys it's got to stay clear these damn things when they explode real clear Big impus. Phosphor sink. Okay, we still sell those bad boys. Oh, wait, let's just see. What does it say? It's combat magic. Yeah, never mind. We'll sell them. Let's clear this place out. See, the thing with these guys, they don't do much damage. I mean, they don't have a lot of hit points. But boy, can they do damage. can do lots of damage guys yeah I think that whole cast speed thing was a good idea definitely for Tamron Golden ring, eh? Anti zero five zero four armor, ten ice resistance. No. I'm not even gonna try looking at that because I know it's shit already. Okay, all of the stuff lying there, don't have to worry about that.
Yeah, you do that wrong. You do that too quick and it's curtains, guys. Freaking necromancer is going to take all our money. Lothar is going to level up really soon. Are they protecting their leader now? Idle minds make for idle hands or whatever, however they say it. Probably idle hands make for an idle mind. Oh, I don't know. Little bit of gold. Little bit of shine. Oh, baby. Won't you be mine? We gotta do like a shit ton of these things, I imagine. Let's do his skill. Specialties. What was he doing? Damage resistance. Trouble, yeah. The shit with these guys is they seem to teleport to the rear um, formation of my characters and attack the less armored ones. Okay, let's just activate this portal. Yeah, we're getting there, guys. Like, I've never been this far in the game before, so it's been a while now since I haven't. Um, Let's sell some of the stuff we're carrying. It is you. Darrow needs a new um, Resurrect Skull. Okay, so we're gonna go and buy a Resurrect Skull now. Greetings, friend. Let us press on.
We should empty out our stash as well sometime. It's a bit of a challenge here yeah, for the uh, spellcasters because there's always something in the way, like a wall or something else. Let's go in here and see what there is. So we literally all have to get like surrounded by them. It's either that or the attack rating goes down. Pull this lever. Have we pulled it already? Strange. Oh uh, no, I must have uh, pulled it. Hang on, which way are we going now? We're going backwards now, eh? Right, we didn't check this door. Silks of the master set. Ah, oh, no. Okay, let's press on. They're starting to focus more on the summoned creatures because they're doing more damage. Mana potion. I've also got a very sick Lord of the Rings game that we should try out. It's very big though, so it's a big undertaking. But we can tell you to give it a shot sometime. It's called Shadow of Mortal or Shadow of War. I think it's called Shadow of War. It's pretty cool. Dragon boots. Uh. 
I wonder what happens if you die on one of those shrines. Do they resurrect you and heal you or what? It'll be interesting to learn. Guys, I sense Mimic. Oh, we got uh, barrels. Good chain helm. I was about to say good Chad helm. Freaking Chad's be. <coughs> no, it's just the dust in these mines. It is so dark. Yeah, you guys pick a brilliant time to speak, don't you? Idiots. It's not my fault your leader comes rushing towards me. Ding. Wow, what are those? Oh, those are good. Okay, I gotta use these guys. Twenty six fourteen, yeah. Oh, something going on there. Yeah, get some. Oh, gotta watch out for the barrels. Oh, shit. Push the pull the lever. Pull the cronk lever. These guys are pretty tough, eh? Oh shit, someone just went down. Damn. Damn, dude. Yeah, it's because they teleport. Bastards. I think it doesn't take much to get me back on my feet, though. Gosh, another teleporter. Wow. No, dude. Oh, that was close, guys. That was real close. Come on. Come out. Guys, they teleport to the rear formation people. So a huge group of them. You watch out. You really need to watch out with a big group of them. Weren't those, uh, weren't there imps in the forest of Amunlu? In the 
tranquil forest or whatever they called. Arm and heals. Cheeky bastard. Oh, is a magic greater chance of magic awareness. I generally just use the incantation trance to speak to the spirits. Not really much else use for them. Okay, down we go. Guys, you gotta attack them a bit and then pull back. But you know, essentially, these guys are actually stronger than me. I mean, look, Lothar does damage, but it, it's very small. I'm starting to step up the game here, guys. Hey, we got another portal. Uh, this is gonna be difficult. See, we've got to step back. Oh, she almost dead. a portal blah, blah, town of Karathia. I suppose we should sell all the stuff we're carrying now hey guys should probably do that Sorry guys, right for your poor ears there. Good day to you, friend. Good day to you, my good man. come back if we need mana potions because we might buy some and then we end up picking them up anyway still not going too bad guys Okay, we didn't pull the lever.
Beware of red barrels, guys. They always explode. Always. Ooh, here's a spirit. Okay, shit, man. Well, that don't mean that there's an incantation shrine nearby. We've got to cover this one because... We need, are not likely to come back and find him here. So we must just keep an eye out for a shrine. Maybe there's one here. Yeah. Yay! So we want to do law, chance, Let's go talk to this dude. It is cool that you can, uh, you pit, once you've spoken to them, you can speak to them again without having to. I am dead, and yet I remain. The dark wizards live still, but are more dead than I. The power they draw from the ley lines is greater than any mortal can withstand. I know. I touched them only briefly, and died in that instant. The Dark Ones captured my spirit, and bound me here, until I am released by a kind word, which they knew would never come. You have suffered long and needlessly, Spirit. You deserve to go to your rest. If such is in my power, I release you now. Thank you, kind one. I am freed at last, much to the chagrin of the Dark Wizards. Go in peace, spirit. Nice. Mithril, unique Gladys. What do we got here, guys? What do we got here? Could it be a step up? Could it be a step up in the game? Ooh, that looks nasty. Let's see. 24 to 40. 32 to 50. Uh, plus 20 strength resistance sure no It's a big jump in strength though, hey? It's a really big jump. Yeah, oh, no, it's not worth it, guys. Hey, at least we clocked another ghost. Ghost quest. to do was shoot the barrel but something was standing in my way so I could 
ahead and shoot the barrel. These guys on you. They look like the uh, strong manual labor of this mine, those guys. Come on up. Come on up. up so much gold hang on just a second I'm pretty sure something went blue yeah It was down there. Step by step. Killed me own bracken. Imagine how chaotic this game would have been with friendly fire. Oh my word. Would have been a nightmare, guys. Absolute nightmare. I don't understand. Oh, we're we blowing up the shards. Oh, cool. I see. But a forward thinking. Come, come, come. Die, un, un die, miner. this guy he's a goring crone you bloody crone okay does this lead to some of the other chests since we came across any enemies that hate potions or hate magic or something hate healing magic it's been a while maybe they're setting us up for like a serious stage this must be the next dwarven thing Oh, so this was a dwarven mine, okay. Were these guys dwarves and got corrupted or what happened? Oh 
Oh shit. Rare exceptional apprentice hood, eh? Armor 33, 36 health on strength 15 armor. Well, no, mine is uh, way better. It's a bit confusing now and again. Our damage, our attack rating definitely needs some attention, guys. At the moment, it doesn't look like we're doing as much damage as we used to, but we'll see. Maybe these guys are just tougher, I don't know. Okay, what is the deal with this room, you guys think? Life Embrace. I know what Life Embrace does. using my hands with the spirit of light letting them to absorb health from enemies they damage that might be pretty good oh it's so small it's so very small okay never mind small percentage of lifesteal not even worth considering Alright, so that's this area claw, hey? Finished and done. Finished and claw. Here we go, probably going to fight a boss now. Let's get confined in time or space. That shithole. Like I always say, guys, dungeons make me super uneasy. Like I just want to get back out into the sun, you know? And we're 55 seconds over the hour. I think we'll claw the mines. Before we move on guys gotta wipe out these guys Felt like I had to use that power there. Felt a little bit uncomfortable.
Well, I must say this one is far easier than the first game. Shit, the first game had me on edge pretty much throughout the whole game. Pretty much the whole game. This area makes me think of that dwarf mining game. What is it called? Bedrock Great Bedrock Galactica or something. supposed to go this way doesn't look like it so let's go let's explore maybe it's the next dwarven thing my bob let's just check that out um dwarven song of all return the stanzas to historian oh okay so we're done with that actually all right let's explore this section here this little section This, this area is so chaotic. The combat is so chaotic. What is this now? You need Vix in your party and selected to open this door. Why? Is there a soldier or what? We are never going to do that, guys. Never. Tallies keep popping up on my video, bro. Tallies. Okay. Attack! Yeah, it's gonna be cool playing Dungeon Siege 3, guys. I actually have a controller, I just need to see if it all sets up right and works properly. Now my summon creatures are becoming quite powerful. I will not lie. Is there a button? Step into my web. 
Collect the gold, people. Oh my gosh, I almost killed those guys. It was very close. pretty cool that I, I upgraded and used these um, summon creatures I was also never one to do that but I think I was more fascinated by dressing my characters up in the correct armor and stuff like that when I was a kid so I wasn't really paying attention I didn't realize the importance of making the right decisions when it came to skills and inventory and all that shit gosh there's a lot of them Wow. Wow. I knew it was going to get difficult. That was pretty tight, guys. There's just so many of these fuckers. So what are we facing that's new here? the direction we need to go in. Oh well guys, I guess we can uh, hear out here. Let's finish up, wrap up this uh, recording. Okay, let's just do our skills. She was doing resistance, her survival, okay? At least I'm pretty sure that's what we were doing. She was doing, Tamarin was doing cast speed. Tar was doing summoned creature damage. Okay, so we can also do this um, auto. Yes. Let's just scope out this area yeah, for a bit. You know. Right, Why would we go out here? Gosh, guys, we've put so much time into this game, eh? 31 hours. Wow. Wow, dude. I wonder what this chest is. Is it a mimic? Hang on, I thought we finished that. So, I really don't think there are. Okay, let's activate this portal. And I think we can probably wrap up this video. Yeah, guys, it's probably for the best. Um, I mean, we got an hour and 10 minutes now, hour and thir almost 13 minutes. Let's just 
activate this portal before we do anything else. deliver this thing to the guy these songs or whatever and then I think we'll wrap it up guys I think he was near the tavern I may be wrong Oh, she's, yeah, it's the old lady. Okay. At last, I have all three parts to the Dwarven Song of Ore. What is this? A fourth piece? This, this is the secret lost chorus. I thought it was only a rumor. One moment while I translate these last parts. Yes, this is truly astounding. It will help us immeasurably in our mining efforts. You have done well. Please accept this in return for your labors. Yeah, my labors. Unique gold ring. 15 to strength, 65 to health. That's 40% gold drop. Oh, yeah. Into armor though, hey. Fifteen strength though, so that affects everything. Okay, let's sell all our crap, guys. So we don't have to do that next time we come in. Sweet, another quest done, hey. That means more XP. Jeez, Lothar is ready to level up again. It's probably a good thing. It is you! Sell, sell, sell. It's a very weak, very weak spell. Got that already. So just want to quickly double check that uh, we did activate the portal because I will shit my pants. I'll be very disappointed if we did not and we come back in and we have to run all that that whole course again. But, uh, I think we can save yeah guys thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed that episode of Dungeon Siege episode 31 guys we have come so far in the game I'm so glad that we were able to preserve our save game because I did tell you guys in the last two videos that um, the, the the save game file went missing so I got the card and was like okay we can do Dungeon Siege again and I opened it up and my save game was gone <laughs> 
but it turns out OneDrive had made a separate directory and moved all my files and then I just had to move them all back in so none of them were lost so yeah we were able to pick up where we left off guys thank you for all your participation in the channel whatever it may be thanks for choosing to invest your energy and time into this channel and into the future of this channel and the surrounding community so I really thank you guys um, I'm, start, I, I'm keen to finish it now um, it's been going it went it's slightly less smooth than the last um, two videos it seems like we've been hitting a bit of an incline in terms of the difficulty it might just be the creatures that are in the mine i'm not sure or uh, i'm also i'm also interested to see if, if the mine is the continuation of the map and not that other part of desert where we just touched on a little bit that, that came after the entrance to this mine so i'm keen to see that so if if that's a case that the mine progresses i'm, I'm going to go back to that desert in the next video and just like clear it out and see what's there perhaps there's another quest that we can accomplish there or something yeah guys that's it for me for this episode thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode of dungeon seas 2 uh it's really cool playing this game lots to talk about it but works on your brain a little bit so it's it's a cool game guys that's it for now that's it from me for this video peace guys much love cheers see you guys in the next one hey eh? enjoy